decked out in their 70s outfit and they're doing a little dance to picking up the pieces. All right, here they come, right in front of the stadium. The tailgaters were loud. Let's see if the stadium can get louder. Let's rock it. All right, it's time for player introductions. We're going to start first with Team Frost and Frost. Playing in the number one, Mr. Tom Frost. Playing in the number two, she made her debut at the Villages Polo Club on Friday. She's back again today, Petra Sobatova. Playing in the number three position is going to be Charlie Kinkosis. And playing the anchor for Frost and Frost today is going to be Mr. Juan Velarde. All right, now for the team in the purple jerseys, the Arden's Fine Jewelers in the number one position. I believe it's going to be Mr. Lord Lyle. <laughs> Playing in the number two position, it's going to be Midge Ellison. Playing in number three is going to be Roberto Navaja. And playing the anchor for Fro Team Ardens is going to be Alfredo Gaisreño. Our two mounted umpires are going to be Francisco Bilbao and Daryl Sweats. Throwing in our first ball today will be right down front. We'll get everyone back to their seats now. It'll be Kimberly Hennessy and Marion Evans. Don't listen to Juan Velarde down there. He's going to tell you to throw it to him. Tom will tell you, just throw it right down the middle. Here we go. Well done. That's a perfect throw in. All right, as you watch these players now, they're going to be fighting for possession of the ball. And now you'll see in their mallets coming together. It's perfectly legal to hook the mallet of your opponent as long as you don't reach over, under, around the horse to do it. You're going to notice as these players are going up and down the field as well, they will bump into each other, and that's perfectly legal as well. As long as you're going shoulder to shoulder, same speed in the same dist or the same direction. Here is Lord Lyle. Lord Lyle with a nice shot on goal. Look at this shot from Lord Lyle. It's right there in front of the goal. And he's going to... It does make it over the end line right there. Flagger on each end. They'll wave the flag low when it doesn't go in. And we'll have a knock-in then. So this is going to be a knock-in for Team Frost and Frost. And this is Juan Velarde. He brings it in off the end line. You notice all the players out there. They have the mallet in their right hand. Polo is one of three sports in the world. You must play right-handed. High lie and field hockey, the other two. And this is Alfredo. Alfredo now with a nice shot on goal. It's rolling, rolling. But Velarde comes in, steals it away. Look at his hand-eye coordination. He picks up that little ball on the end of his mallet. And now he launches one way up the field, puts it out there for his up front players. Here comes Petra. Petra, oh, her pony kicks it backwards. Bad luck right there. Now here comes Roberto Navaja. Navaja trying to get back to it and he couldn't because he would have caused a penalty right there. All penalties in the sport of polo are for safety. Safety first and foremost for the horses. Everything we do out here is safe for safety first. Here comes a shot under the neck of a horse by Midge. Midge Ellison has it for a minute. Now here comes Petra. Petra swings underneath that one. But here comes Tom Frost. Tom Frost might be able to put the first goal on the board. He's right there in the goal mouth. We have a high flag. Tom Frost ties the score up at one goal apiece. All times. That way you don't get caught without having someone back there to kind of stop a drive if it's coming towards you. All right, here's the throw-in. After every goal, we switch ends. So after each goal, that's why Team Ardens is actually going to the south end now. They do that after every goal. Look at these horses stretching out. Roberto Navaja, and now he shoots, and just like that, he gives his team back the lead. Roberto Navaja puts it in. Those mallets that the players are carrying in their right hand are made out of a now, a now cane. It is very similar 
to bamboo, but bamboo is actually, um, bamboo is, I was just looking at a message real quick. Bamboo is hollow where the manal cane is actually solid. So those are very flexible mallets. They're very light. The head on the mallet is out, made out of a hard tipa wood. We, we've had a whistle right there. So we're going to stop the clock with mallet head, like you do in croquet. So you have to understand you're up on top of that horse. You're sometimes running at speeds of 30 miles an hour. If you tried to hit with the end of the mallet, it'd be a little bit more difficult. So that's why they hit with the side of the mallet. You'll see Charlie Kinkosis come in here. He's hitting off the off side of his horse, which is the right side of the horse. Alfredo doing the same thing here, but there's two sides, the off side and near side. The near side is the left side of the horse. You'll see the players hitting from that side as well. Here comes Navaja. Navaja now from the pass from Alfredo. Team Ardens, they're trying to pick up where they left off on Friday. And here comes Roberto. Him and Charlie are stride for stride. And Charlie Kinkosis from the near side of the horse backs it. But coming in right there is going to be Alfredo. Juan Velarde's coming in trying to cut that angle down. You see him slide to a stop right there. What a nice looking pony. Now he gets up on the handlebars a little bit. Now Alfredo's trying to shoot on goal. It's looking like it's going to go just wide right. But what a good opportunity to hit Arden's had right there. Come up with some of these players will change in the middle of the chucker. They do that on their own time. When the chucker ends, all these players will go down and change as well. The umpire did call play, but this is sportsmanship at its finest right here. Juan Villard, he's letting Alfredo get back out on the field. Now he's going to start going up the field. And now Juan puts a nice shot up there, trying to get it to one of his teammates, but coming in and stealing away. He's going to be Alfredo. Alfredo with the ball right here. Alfredo now launches one up everyone's head. Lord Lyle's got the leg up on Juan Velarde. They come together. Lordy flips it over on the near side, not able to get it going forward. Velarde backs it. I believe we had a whistle because I saw Cruz waving that flag low. That Alfredo. Line drives this one. It gets knocked down in the goal mouth. And then Lordy, or Midge Ellison comes through and backs it through. Good job by Midge Ellison right there. Puts it through the uprights. Back to the middle, the ball's back in play. Here comes Roberto. That's a 30 second horn, 30 seconds left in chucker number one. This way the players know how much time's left, even though we tell them. But they know now they're gonna try to score or get it closest to their end as possible because the next chucker will start where this one ends. So here's Velarde. He knows the clock is running down. He's looking up the field, waiting, waiting. Now he's gonna go with a big shot up the field, trying to get it to one of his teammates. Who's gonna get there first? Looks like Charlie comes in, a whistle sounds. We had two players coming together, nose to nose. That normally isn't the right way to go, so that's why the whistle blew. So that. All right, for the in between Chucker Entertainment, let's get. You notice Team Ardens places himself off the field. They cannot defend this. Lou's in thing. Yeah, Lou Pendas. Do it, do it, do it. Lou gets a bound on it. Oh, it goes just wide left, but good effort right there. Yeah. So bringing it in off the end line here. We're waiting for the umpire to say play. Lord, he didn't want to hit that one. It's going to be Lord Lyle. Oh, he's going to go the opposite way that everyone was going, trying to catch Team Frost and Frost on their heels. But here comes Charlie. Now Charlie fakes the back shot, but he's able to back it. Now we got a couple players coming together, and it's going to be picked up right there by Alfredo. Alfredo and Lordy going forward. He puts a nice shot up the field. Look at Lord Lyle come out of a shotgun there. Bypasses Charlie. Keeps the ball going straight. A great approach shot right there. And Lord Lyle's driving for show, but can't putt for dough. What? So we'll have a knock in right here. Team Frost and Frost dodges a bullet right there. Or they would have been down by three goals. Here we come back the opposite way. Juan Velarde. 
looking up the field, waiting for the right moment, waiting for one of his players to get into open space. Now he launches one up over everyone's head. Almost drops down and lose pocket. Here comes Just Call Pendas. Keeps his head down. Keep it going forward, Lou. Nice job. Oh, it goes to the near side of the horse. And now there's Midge. Midge Ellison with a nice back shot. But look at Juan Velarde. Come in, steal it on the near side. Velarde looks over his shoulder. Tries to figure out which way he wants to take this. And he's going to walk this one. Oh, no. His pony kicks it. Now he's going to have to go the hard way. Turn the spin. Try to go back in between the uprights again. This time he drops it right there and Petra puts it in between the uprights. Team going southbound, Team Arden's northbound. Ball's back in play. Just call Pendos. Lou gets him out. out. Now Petra gets it out of that throw in. Petra doing a good job right here, carrying her team forward. That's what she does in that lineup. The number one players up in front. They try to get the ball directed towards their end of the field. And that way everyone can follow them. Here comes Petra trying to keep that ball going forward. Not able to. Now it's going to be picked up there by Alfredo. Alfredo now. He's got Roberto going forward. And Alfredo's got to get out of the reach of Charlie. The horses are going to stretch out now. Here comes Alfredo. <clears throat> past midfield. Oh, he doesn't get a hold of that one. And now it's sitting right there. Now it's going to be picked up by Lord Lyle. Lyle launches one way up there near the goal mouth. But now it's going to be nice Velarde. He stops and turns on a dime. And now he's headed back the other way. Midge is right there. But he's got the ball in his possession. Now he's telling his players to go forward. He launches one way up there out in Petra. But look at Midge. Midge has fast horses, but Petra's right there. Midge reaches down, gets the hook on the mallet. Well done by Midge right there. And now here comes Juan right back on the line of the ball. Let's see what he's going to do here. He's got to go angle this one over towards the goal. Three minutes. He ang Oh, he catches the ground a little too much. Three minutes. Here comes Alfredo now. Alfredo across the field. Takes a calculated risk by going across the goal mouth, but it worked out this time for him. Now he launches one up the field, and now it's going to be Roberto Navaja. He's got a fast horse. Roberto launches this one up against the boards over there. Pay attention on that far side. And now here comes Roberto. Cheer them on as they go by. They're right in front of you. And now look at this shot by Roberto from an angle, but it goes just wide right. Two minutes, 14 seconds. 2.14. Velarde launches this one right over here, coming right here in front of the stadium. It's going to hit the boards right there. Here they come. Charlie's right here. You all like Charlie, cheer him on. And there's Roberto. Oh, this one bounces off a pony. And now, Juan Velarde jumps on the loose ball. He launches this one up over everybody's head. Charlie's going to pick up the pass right there. Now he zigs behind those players. And now here comes Charlie with a neck shot, and it goes in between the uprights. Charlie Kinkosis. All right, all the property of the village people are there having a good time. They must not be hearing me. All right, ball's back in play. This is going to be Juan Velarde coming out of that throw, and we are tied up at three goals apiece. Winning these throw-ins normally means you win matches. He's trying to get around Lord Lyle. He launches this one from 80 yards out, and it's going to go wide left. Lordy brings it in off the end line. 30. There's the 32nd horn. It's 3-3 three to three right now. Let's see. Oh, Lord, he swings through that one. Just called Lou. Pendas is going to get there. Here comes Pendas. He's got this ball going towards the goal for Frost and Frost. Oh, it goes off the heel of his mallet. Now Lordy backs it out of danger, but right there's Velarde. Can he put this one through before the clock sounds? It goes over the end line. So Chucker number two concludes with the ball going over the end line. So give both teams a round of applause. And once again, our polo cheerleaders. They're ready to start chucker number three. Once again, after this chucker, we'll make our way out on the field to stomp divots, do trivia, and hand out our best tailgating and best dressed. All right, here we come. Lordy brought the ball in, passes it up to Alfredo. You guys need to start waking up and cheering these players on. They're playing very hard out here. Here comes Alfredo. And now here comes Charlie into the play. He knows he can't go over there because Lord Lyle had the line. 
And now it's going to be a little sword fight right here. You can hear all the mallets coming together. Velarde comes in. Look at his horse do a pirouette. Velarde's train. Oh, look at this. A little cat and mouse game going on with him and Lordy. And he got the best of them that time. And now here comes Alfredo. Alfredo backs this one. Velarde stopping to turn again, but guess who's going to be there? The, oh, he's Lordy was going to be there, but he saw Alfredo coming, and Alfredo was going the right direction at the right speed, and he's off to the races. Alfredo, oh, I think he may have broke his mallet. And now, Charlie backs it across the field right there. And now, it's going to be on Velarde. Velarde with the ball. Takes it all the way on that far side. He's got Petra going forward, and he's also got Tom up front. See if he can release it. He does a good job. Puts it up there to Petra. Petra out front all alone. Oh, she overrides that one. Now Lord Lyle with the famous back shot. But now it's going to be picked up right here by Alfredo. I mean, excuse me, Juan Velarde. He's right there with Roberto. Alfredo's trying to chase him down though. Velarde zigging and zagging, ducking and diving in between the uprights. Team Frost and Frost takes their first lead of the day. Four, four minutes, four minutes left in shucker number three. Kinkosis comes out with the ball. Charlie Kinkosis doing a good job. Tries to get this one to go forward but not able to. Now he's able to regain possession of the ball. Now he puts a pass to himself, but Roberto's right there. Now Charlie picks up the loose ball. Here comes Charlie, he's out about the 60. He's gonna go with the next shot, up, up in the air, could it be? Looks like it went wide right. This is gonna be Lord Lyle. Lyle comes off the end line, bringing that ball forward, passes it up to Alfredo. Alfredo now, letting all his players to get up the field. Now he's gonna put a nice shot up the field. And this is gonna be Midge Ellison. She's out there, but here comes Petra. Just have Midge gets hooked right there. Petra did a good job hooking her mallet. Now here comes Kinkosis. Steals it away from Roberto Navaja. And now coming across the field. Here comes Charlie. Charlie doing a good job. Oh! Looks at his mallet, wonder what happened with that. Now here comes Petra doing a good job. Oh, it goes up and over the boards out there with the players but here on the polo field you will have the amateurs and professionals playing together obviously you see we have ladies out here playing with a gentleman so it's what makes this sport very unique and now a nice shot up the field right there by Alfredo and Lord Lyle picks up the pass Lyle right there around the 60 yard line and a whistle sounds one of be Midge Ellison Midge just like that Puts it in, oh, up the goal post. Oh my goodness, gracious me, oh my. So Team Ardent squanders a chance to tie the match up right here. And now here comes Juan Velarde. Coming out, coming right here in front of you all, right down front, right in front of the VIP section. And here's Charlie looking up the field, puts a nice pass up there, oh, that went off. Of and now a nice back shot by Alfredo, but Charlie's the first one to stop and turn. Kinkosis going across the field. Look at his pass. He puts over there to Juan, but Lord Lyle's coming in. He gets a back shot, but now Juan Velarde jumps on the loose ball. Juan with the ball now going up the field. He's got a nice long shot up there. Could it be? He drops it down near the goal line, but might make it over the end line. Yes, it does. He gets a little too much on that one. It goes wide left. So... All right, Lord Lyle bringing this ball. One minute, one minute left here in shucker number three. And we'll be going to trivia, divot stomp, and all kinds of fun activities at halftime. Here we go, up the field, Alfredo, right there in front of all the property of the village's tents on the far side. And now Alfredo puts it over there in the middle of the field, and Midge is right there. Oh, she can't make contact. Now Velarde coming across the field. Here comes Velarde, here comes... Alfredo and Velarde stops and turns, goes back 30. the opposite direction, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Juan's gonna have to go up to the far end as quickly as possible. Off the bounce, Ooh. what a shot! It almost drops past midfield right there. He's trying to get there. Midge is chasing him down. Here comes Velarde. And now this one bounces up in the air, but he's able to pick it up off the bounce once again. This time he shoots it way up there almost. 
It's going to be wide right, but does it make it off the end line? Not yet. It's still on the field of play. There's the final horn, so we're going to start with a throw-in right down there on that south end. Team Frost and Frost are going to take advantage, possibly, of the short walk strategy, and then they'll be back out for the second half in just a moment. And in the VIP section, hope you're all having a good time down there. All right, we're back in action. Here we go. See if Frost and Frost, and that was Petra with the back shot, makes it over the end line. Oh, there's some from Lauren there. All right, we'll go over some more of these people here in just a minute. Here, we're back in action, though. This is Alfredo putting a shot up the field, trying to get it to one of his teammates, but not able to. Look at Juan Velarde up on top of that horse. Now, here comes Kinkosis. Charlie coming across the field. Charlie looking up the field, waiting, waiting. Alfredo comes in, cuts down the angle. Little give and go between Charlie and Juan. Juan goes for the big hit, and this one's going to go wide right. So Ardens bringing the ball back in off the end line. This is going to be Alfredo. Puts that ball up there. Here comes Cameron Smart. Cameron doing a good job right there. Now he's able to get by everyone. Goes to the near side. Well done by Cameron Smart. Now he puts a nice approach shot up there. Petra's trying to chase him down. Cameron's right there. Pops up in the air. Good. And it goes, oh, it's backed out in the nick of time by Juan Velarde. Wow. Oh, well, we got a mallet up in the air, though. And now this is going to be Roberto trying to turn the spin right here. Avoids the hook from Kinkosis. Velarde tries to save it again, but not able to. Roberto Navaja ties the match back up. Back in play. <laughs> All right, this is going to be Charlie coming out of there. Team Frost and Frost coming out. And now they're all, but look at Alfredo chasing Juan down. And now Velarde with the ball. He was just right here saving a goal a second ago. Velarde reaches back and it has enough momentum to make it over the end line and give Team Frost and Frost a one goal lead. Where's Victor? Four. Four minutes. The ball goes all the way through the throw in right there. And this is going to be Kinkosis. Charlie. Here we go, right back the other way. Charlie and Juan are working well together now. Velarde, but look at Mid, she's right there, gonna chase him down. Makes him hear those footsteps coming in behind him. And then he rides over top of Petra, gets a little bit of a back shot. Now it's gonna be picked up right there by Alfredo. Alfredo, look, he's trying to keep the ball away from Juan. A little cat and mouse game going on. Now Alfredo launches it up over everyone's head. Roberto's trying to get there. Kinkosis gets there, but right here comes Roberto. But Kinkosis comes away with the ball. Oh, he rides over top of it. And now whistle sounds. Where the penalty occurs, the direction the teams are going at that given moment, and severity. On this one, Ardens was actually going the opposite way. So they just put it right down there, penalty five. Kinkosis ducks out of the way, and this ball's right up there by the goal line. Midge backs it back into the middle of the field. Cameron's there with a little back shot. Well done. This allows for Roberto to come in. He backs it also, and it's right there. Cameron goes to the near side, puts it in between the uprights. But hold up. Be able to see the best playing pony, as well as the MVP of the day of our Property of the Villages weekend here. Whistle sounds. Let's play. Alfredo. Alfredo goes for the big shot. Charlie ducking out of the way once again. Here comes Roberto, but it's picked up on the near side by Juan. Now here comes Petra, and we got a whistle. Penalty shot. This is Velarde. Juan taps it once. Now he goes for the big old shot up, up over everyone's head. And now Petra's out there. Petra coming through, swings and hits this one. A good approach shot right here. Midge is chasing her down, hooks her mallet. Nicely done right there. Now here comes Alfredo. Alfredo with the ball. You see Roberto trying to keep Charlie away from Alfredo. That's perfectly legal. And now Alfredo puts one up over everyone's head. And Midge is pushing, pushing. Nicely done right there. But now here comes Juan Velarde making his way right over here in front of the stadium. 
See him control the horse with his left hand. Tap the ball with his right. Now he puts all his effort into it. And now here comes Alfredo. Alfredo with the ball now. Stops. Trying to get this one going back the other way. We're tied up at five goals apiece here in chucker number four. Before we go into the frantic fifth, one minute. One minute left. And here's Alfredo making his way up off the bounce, but it bounces straight up in the air. And then Petra's horse kicks it forward. And now she gets a little back shot right there. Nice hook of the mallet by Charlie right there. But Roberto was in the rumble seat. Now he puts his shot right over there near the center of the field. Can Cameron get there? He goes with a near side neck shot. But now it's going to be picked up by Velarde. 30. 30 seconds. Oh, Cameron stops right there, but here comes Charlie. Charlie, he's going to have to run quick with this one. The clock is going to run down. That was the 30 second horn. Here we go, flying back the other way. And it's taken forward by Alfredo. Now Alfredo backs it, but Charlie knocks it out of the air, straight up in the air. Now Roberto Navaja. Navaja with the ball. He's going to have to turn and shoot quickly because that clock is almost expired. And it's right there in front of the goal. And there's the final horn. The chucker ends in front of the goal. So give both teams a round of applause. Chucker number five will be in just a moment. As our This time, Team Ardens will have the short end of the field. Frost and Frost had it right here, almost identical place to start the fourth. They couldn't capitalize on it. Let's see if Frost, I mean, Ardens can. Here's Roberto. He gets a mallet on it. Now here comes Charlie. Charlie's trying to clear the ball out of danger. And now he's able to keep the ball in front of him. He's going to turn to spin, but he loses control. And right there is a shot on goal by Cameron. No, excuse me, that's Alfredo. I do apologize. One goal lead. Cameron gets the ball out of the throw in and leaves it right there for Roberto. Navaja with the ball. Navaja coming across the field. He's going to leave it there for teammate Alfredo. Alfredo puts this one over in the middle of the field, but right there's Juan Velarde. He slows down. He's got his players going forward now. He's telling them to go forward. And now he's going to run with this one. Juan Velarde is going for the big long shot. He's going to put it up there. Charlie's coming in, but right there's Midge on his hip. Charlie goes to the near side. Not able to make contact, but here comes Alfredo. Alfredo with it. And now Juan Velarde comes in, tries to pick his pocket, but not able to. And here comes Alfredo out of the goal mouth, making his way all the way up. Now that ball drops down near midfield. Midge Ellison coming right back from the far end. Tries to get the ball once again, but now here comes Alfredo and Charlie. They neutralize each other. Now here comes Roberto and Juan. Two players coming together. And now Roberto gets the back shot, but it's intercepted right there. Alfredo trying to get back to it now. Juan, he's going to try to keep this ball away from Alfredo. I believe we had a whistle. No. I think Alfredo was just, or Juan was going to leave it there and go switch horses, or he broke a mallet. And now, this is going to be Alfredo. Now, a whistle stops the clock. That was just a courtesy for Team Ardens there to let Juan go get a new mallet back, and now they let them have the ball back right there. And now, here comes Kinkosis, Charlie. Charlie with the ball, trying to keep it away from Roberto. He slows down. Now he's going to put a pass over there, try a little give and go. Not able to. Roberto Navaja with the back shot. And now Velarde slowing down right here. Now he puts his shot, trying to get it to one of his teammates up there. But there's too many purple jerseys, and Kin Kosas cannot get to the ball. Midge keeps Charlie totally out of the play. And now here comes Alfredo. Alfredo comes out with the ball. Here comes Team Ardens. They got Team Frost and Frost on their heels right here. Here comes Cameron. And here comes Petra trying to chase him down. Cameron gets him out. Petra gets a little bit of a back shot. And now here's Alfredo. Alfredo's right there carrying the ball up the field. We're at three minutes, 40 seconds left in chucker number five. Alfredo puts it in between the uprights. So Team Ardens takes a two goal lead now.
until the ball is out of the umpire's hands. Hand. Now it's back in play. Here comes Tom Frost. Tom comes out with it. Tom Frost wins the throw in. Going up the field right here. Tom doing a good job taking this ball forward. Tom Frost still with the ball. Goes off the heel a little bit. Cameron comes in with a little back shot. Now here comes Midge. She can't get a mallet on it. Now it's going to be picked up by Kinkosis. Charlie waiting for a clear shot on goal. All the purple jerseys are right there just blocking traffic. He fakes the hit. Now he leaves it there for Velarde. Juan Velarde coming in. And he's getting bumped off the play right there by Navaja. Then he backs it all the way over there in that far corner. We're down to two minutes, 20 seconds. And look at this long back shot by Charlie. Right over near the center of the field. And now it's going to be Roberto. Alfredo's trying to get in there. But Juan Velarde puts it in between the uprights for Team Frost and Frost. So goal one, and a half. one minute, 30 seconds, 130. Ball's in play. Tom gets him out on it, as well as Charlie. Midge is trying to get out of the way. Her mallet's got hung up in Charlie's boot. And now Midge gets the mallet back. And now here comes Tom Frost. Tom with the ball going forward. Good job by the number one, getting his team going forward. Cameron Smart coming in, putting the pressure on him. Tom Frost still with the ball going forward. Tom Frost with an opportunity to tie this match up. Tom Frost shoots. It could be. Oh, it's going to go a little bit wide. Is it going to stay on the field? No, it goes just wide. So we'll have a knock in right there. Management. And now here comes Alfredo. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Here comes Alfredo, puts a nice long shot right up here in front of the pavilion. Y'all wait today. Here comes Cameron. He gets one mount. He gets it again, swings twice. Here comes Midge. Petra's right there with a hook and then a little back shot. Well done by Petra. But now it's going to be picked up right there by Alfredo. He's going for the big shot because he knows the clock is running down. Two players coming here. He goes to the near side and it goes wide left. So chucker number five comes to an end right there with our school. And then we're going to play a good song for you guys to get up and clap your hands. A round of applause. A sixth and final chucker. Who's going to come out on top? of the property of the village's weekend here. Here's Charlie right down in front. Midge is right there doing her darndest to keep him from running up the field. Charlie right there. Midge right there on his hip. Charlie up against the boards. Now he gets a nice shot over there near the center of the field. And now here comes Midge. She's going to take it forward once, twice. And now Charlie's going to jump on the loose ball. Kinkosis, the sly fox. Puts it between the uprights. Seven goals apiece. It's time to start cheering these teams on. Make sure you pick a player, pick a team. They need as much encouragement as you can give them. Who's going to win? How about who's out here for Team Arden? How about Team Frost and Frost? Oh, my goodness. Come on, Team Arden. And now, oh. Now it's going to be backed right there by Midge, but it's going to be picked up by Ken Kosis out of the air. Now a near, oh, it goes over the end line. So that was some good cheering for both teams. How about just to be outside enjoying polo? Absolutely awesome to be out here today. Now look at this nice long shot. Alfredo puts it up there to Midge, but Petra gets a good hook of her mallet. Doesn't allow Midge to get a... Hit on that ball. Oh, nice move right here. Nice looking little chest. Now look at that horse that Juan's riding. It put it in reverse, went backwards, did a pirouette. Now it's right back into the play. Stops again, and he's off and going the opposite way. Juan Velarde, what a nice long shot up there for Team Frost in front. Just called Pendas. Here comes Lou. He's got an opportunity, and he's taking it forward. And but look at, once again, Velarde, that's like a machine that he's riding right now and look at Velarde walk this one in between the uprights Juan Velarde it's a one goal lead balls in play Lou gets a mallet on it it bounces out Charlie backs it out Lou gonna try to put that pony into high gear but Alfredo had the leg up here comes Alfredo 
Gay Reno. He stops also. Now here comes Alfredo making his way back up the field. Crosses over midfield. Team Arden's trying to tie this match back up. Alfredo shoots, puts the ball up there near that end. Here comes Cameron into the play, but right there's Charlie Kinkosis. He backs it out of danger. And now here comes Roberto. Look at, I told you this. Oh, sometimes your horse stops and turns too quickly. And that's. Cameron nicely done. And he goes right between the uprights. Team Arden ties the match. Five seconds to get back to the throw in. Now the umpire will bowl the ball back in between the two teams. Juan Velarde comes out with it. Three. Three minutes left right here. Here comes Velarde. He's going to let that little chestnut run. No, he's going to put the brakes on. Now he puts it back in the gear, puts a nice neck shot up the field, trying to get it up there to Petra, but Cameron takes her away from the play. And now Alfredo backs this one. And Velarde was able to stop and turn once again. And this... Velarde launches it up, 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 in between the uprights, and drops it right there. So Team Frost and Frost. Team Ardens. Ball's back in play. Alfredo gets a mallet on it. It's right there, but it bounces over to Kinkosis. Charlie Kinkosis jumps out. Oh, look at Roberto. Look at Mids. They're trying to chase Charlie down. Charlie's out front all alone, and he taps it in between the uprights. The all right, they're back at the throw-in. Now the ball's in play. Who's going to win the throw-in? Petra wins it for Team Frost and Frost. But now, here comes Roberto. Navaja, he knows that the clock is running down. They need to score quickly. Here comes Roberto. He's going to leave it there for, for Alfredo. Alfredo, going forward. There's three purple jerseys out there. Let's see if they can take advantage here. Alfredo now goes for the big shot. It's looking pretty darn good. But right there is going to be Juan Velarde. Here comes Cameron. Comes in, gets a mallet on it. And now Velarde with the ball. He's going to, oh. They're saying it went over the end line, but he's going to play the ball right there. Here we come flying back. Here comes Velarde. Look at this little pony run. It flies up the field. He swings three different times. Can't make contact, though, on the third one. And now here comes Roberto Navaja. 30. 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds left. What a match today has been. Looks like Team Frost and Frost will come out with a victory. There's a whistle. That's going to be the clock is running. Just hit it. Push the button. There's the final horn of the day. What a match. Our final score, Team Frost and Frost 10, Team Ardens 8. Yeah, this they are. They're all right there. Team Ardens, make your way over here, please. Team Ardens, a round of applause. Keep up just a little bit short today. What a match. Let's stay right in the middle. We're going to follow them and we'll hand them their trophies.
but the winners of the Property and Villages Weekend, Team Frost and Frost. Friendly wager between our Roberto. I heard there's a friendly wager. You had a friendly wager and you lost, so the barbecue's at your place tonight. Everyone's invited. Everybody. <laughs> All right, let's put Team Frost and Frost up on the podium. What a match! They come out today. Charlie, Juan, Juan. They're not going to barbecue yet. You got to come up here. So these are a player from all four of the teams next weekend. 
This is the way we make it fair. No one can say anything that we didn't do anything. A will, when they draw, we have A, B, C, and D on these cards. A will play against B, and C will play against D. So, I'm going to steal his hat. Well, wait, wait. Ladies go first. So, B, D. A plays B. The four teams right here, the four count. This is T. You have C, so you play against D. A, oh, so. Actually, the. Here we go. Once again, this will be for our eight gold tournament next week. Make sure you come out Friday, 3 o'clock. <laughs> Once again, thank you all for coming out today. Don't forget about next Friday at 3 o'clock. We'll have music after the match as well.